Seven. Chris Ockenbold. Mr Speaker. <laughs> Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister for the Environment. What steps has the government taken to improve air quality and what reports has he received on progress that is being achieved? The Honourable Dr. Mr Speaker, the major source of air pollution is old home fires. So this government has ramped up the investment in converting them to clean heating from the $2.2 million that was spent in the last parliament to over $20 million spent this term. This has enabled more than 20,000 homes to be converted to heat pumps, to compliant log burners and to pallet fires. We've also tightened up the rules on vehicles and on fuel and regional councils have taken steps to reduce industrial particulate pollution through tighter resource conditions. Yesterday I was pleased to release the 2010 air quality figures for New Zealand showing the best results ever in terms of New Zealand's air quality. Chris Ockenpole. Thank you, Mr Speaker. A supplementary question to the Minister. What additional steps is the Government taking to help New Zealand achieve the 2016 and 2020 targets? The Honourable Mr. Dr. Speaker. Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, the Government is merging the Clean Heat and Warm Up New Zealand Smart Heat programmes that are separately funded by Vote Environment and Vote Energy so as to reduce compliance costs and administrative costs. This will enable another 1,250 homes per year to be converted and will reduce the amount of particulate pollution by an additional 35 tonnes per year. I also announced yesterday a new compliance strategy setting out clear expectations to regional councils the role they need to play in making sure we meet those clean air targets. Question number eight, the Honourable Clayton Cosgrove. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Attorney General and asks why has he refused to provide funding to the earthquake victims' families who want re legal representation at the Royal Commission of Inquiry? Mr. The Honourable Speaker. Chris Finlayson. The Government has decided 